So if you walked into a store in the 1990s and asked for a motion sensor, they'd probably hand you some contraption that you hang on your garage that automatically lights up to scare away a novice burglar or that bloody raccoon that keeps tipping over your garbage can. But while sensors that detect the motion of something else are still a mainstay of home security systems, the subject of today's video is actually the sensors that detect their own motion. So how do those work? Let's start with the kind you've probably got a couple of in your hand or pocket right now. A Microelectromechanical System, or MEMS for short. A couple of examples of which are accelerometers and gyroscopes. Well, that sounds pretty fancy, Linus. What the heck are those? Well, they're both engineering and manufacturing marvels. But the basic concepts behind them are actually pretty simple. Accelerometers are for movement of your device, and the kind you'd find in your phone or a game console motion controller is pretty much a very small mass suspended by, like, tiny micro springs with some fixed electrodes within a housing. So let's say Shake It Off starts playing and you're frantically going like this trying to shuffle your playlist. The mass's position relative to the electrodes will change thanks to inertia, changing the capacitance between those electrodes, which your phone interprets as a shake, and suddenly you're listening to some even more deeply embarrassing song you've had on your phone so long you forgot it was there. Gyroscopes serve a similar purpose, but because they are not suspended by springs and therefore affected by gravity, they are more useful for measuring rotation. Although a good accelerometer can do a reasonable job of this, unless it's in free fall as well. So these bad boys have shown up alongside accelerometers to improve input speed and accuracy. We motion plus anyone? Oops, red shell. But consider the following. These types of devices are limited in that they can only detect a change in position relative to a starting point. What if you wanted to know exactly where your smartphone was last night? Oh then you'll need God. something that can detect absolute position, like a light detection motion controller, the place that you're most likely to find one in your house being on your video game console. The original Wii used infrared or IR light emitters two of them on a little bar under your TV, and cameras in each of the controllers to pinpoint the exact location of the controller in the room to further enhance the motion control experience. The disadvantage of a light-based system is that breaking the line of sight makes them stop working entirely, and without high frame rate cameras, performance can be a little laggy and uninspiring. But fortunately, we've made a lot of progress since 2006, and newer systems like the one found on the HTC Vive head-mounted VR device use a combination of MEMS chips, laser position sensors, and passive base stations called lighthouses that work with the camera on the headset itself to perfectly determine the user's orientation and position within the room. Pretty freaking smurf. But the applications of these technologies go way beyond gaming, of course, with medical rehabilitation, fitness and sport performance tracking, and even augmented reality devices like Microsoft's HoloLens that overlays virtual objects on the real world you live in, unlocking all kinds of amazing possibilities in the future. Speaking of amazing futures, what if you didn't even have to read books for yourself? I guess that's today with Audible.com, the leading provider of audiobooks with more than 180,000 downloadable titles across all types of literature, including fiction, nonfiction, and periodicals. Audiobooks are great to listen to when you're driving, stuck in traffic, on the subway, or the bus, doing chores around the house at the gym. By the way, another use for motion sensors is, you know, fitness tracking, doing errands, shopping, whenever. And for our audience members, Audible is giving a free audiobook. Woo! as an incentive to try out their monthly audiobook service, which gives you an audiobook every month and further benefits like discounts on other audiobooks. One super hot title you might want to check out right now is the Elon Musk biography titled Elon Musk creative Ashley Vance. Uh, you guys are going to want to check this out if you're into future technologies and one gentleman who is trying to take them to the mainstream. So to download that audiobook for free or another one of your choice, go to audible.com slash techwiki and sign up for the club. 
All right, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you thought it sucked, leave a comment if you have suggestions for future Fast as Possibles, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and follow and all of that good biz.